ITA is a joint institution of the European Union and the African, Caribbean and Pacific ACP group working to support uh, smallholder agriculture throughout Africa, Caribbean and, and the Pacific. So we focus on three strategic areas. Uh, we work to promote youth entrepreneurship and employment in the agricultural sector. We also work to leverage digital innovations to improve productivity, profitability and uh, climate resilience of uh, smallholder agriculture. And the third area is to promote uh, climate smart innovations for smallholder producers. We also work very actively to support women in agriculture so that they can profit from value chain across the agricultural sector. So maybe you can give us um, a brief into what the partnership with Awan and why it's uh, critical right now. CTA works with Awan through our value for her initiative. So CTA is, uh, Awan is uh, one of the key partners. We also have another partner from Southern Africa, uh, which is known as uh, AWIF, which is the African Women Innovation and Entrepreneurship Forum. So basically, uh, this program is trying to promote uh, women uh, agripreneurs, you know, women who own agribusinesses, so that they can benefit across uh, the agricultural value chain. So we try to connect them to markets, we try to connect them to finance, provide them with technical training, also facilitate networking and interaction among women working in the agribusiness sector so that they can exchange experiences and they can also trade among themselves. This is part of the initiative to promote regional integration, trade within the region in the agricultural sector throughout Africa. And it's very important that we promote this regional trade as a key to transform agriculture to benefit farmers as well as small and medium enterprises across the agricultural value chain. So if you were to give a message to young women in Africa, to, you know, getting into agriculture, what would your message be? Well, <clears throat> there is a lot of opportunity in the agricultural sector. Of course, for young people, agriculture is not, not very attra attractive. It's a lot of work. Uh, it's not paying enough. But now what we are saying is you, ha you have to think about agriculture as a business. Of course, governments have to provide support so that young people have access to finance, they have access to markets, they have access to technology, so that agriculture becomes profitable and exciting for young people. And there are lots of opportunities, and I really encourage uh, young women especially to look into agriculture as a future for their uh, you know, income and uh, growth and being very much into the into the business sector. So there is a lot of opportunity in this area and I hope young women in Africa also take advantage of this opportunity. Okay. Uh, final question. What would be your message to the participants who are here who are now getting the opportunity to participate in that one? Well we are very pleased to bring together uh, women entrepreneurs in the agribusiness sector from uh, right now from eight countries, uh, especially from Horn of Africa and from East Africa as well. So these are many of these pe uh, women are very successful, they have a lot of experience, but they also have potential to grow. We also have a number of young uh, agribusiness owners who are just starting up. So the idea is, you know, they can learn from the experience of the ones who are well settled and well established. So my message would be, you know, this is a great opportunity to start this uh, networking coming together so that you can work and grow together and penetrate not only the market in, the, in, in each of your countries, but also across the region in East Africa and beyond across Africa.